Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm gonna do another video for Fitbit Versa where I'll do an app review for Spotify. Most of you guys have asked me uh, in the comments of other videos to do a video for Spotify app on Fitbit Versa. So here it goes. Let's get started. If you guys are new to our channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We do a lot of videos about Fitbit Versa and various tech reviews, tutorials and cooking. So please make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you are here because of Fitbit Versa, make sure you check out our playlist for Fitbit Versa. Once you click here, you'll be taken to our Fitbit Versa playlist where we have 32 plus videos and more to come. And I am pretty sure you will learn a lot about Fitbit Versa. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna switch the camera over to my phone and watch. So I'll see you. So here guys, I'm on my watch and my phone. Um, so to get started, first you go on the Fitbit app of your phone. In my case, I am using an Android device. So once you go, you go in the app and you find for Spotify HR or just type Spotify and this app should come up. Uh, just a heads up guys, uh, I'm not the developer of this app. Uh, neither this is a sponsored video. Uh, and also this is not, this is not an app developed by Fitbit itself or Spotify itself. It is developed by Elliot Levin. Uh, so if you guys are someone uh, who are skeptical handling or giving your login details for Spotify to someone, uh, you should probably rethink because uh, in this app you have to actually log in with your Spotify credentials. Uh, I would say most of the app developers are pretty good at handling uh, sensitive data. Uh, but it's it's really up to you. I use PayPal for payment, so I I would rather not leave my credit card details over there. Uh, but once the app is installed, uh, you go in the settings, you uh, enter your login credentials over here, and then you'll be logged in. Uh, you will see your name. Once you're logged in, it pretty much gets connected. Now I'm personally not a big fan of this app because there are a lot of issues over here, and I'm gonna show you uh, right over here. Uh, one thing I wanted to discuss is this HR feature. So in the description, this uh, it says that, uh, uh, I'll read it out, why HR? HR stands for heart rate. This is a very nice feature, uh, but I haven't tested it out. Uh, it says Spotify HR implements a unique heart rate based shuffle feature. When enabled, the song in your current playlist will be shuffled to match your current heart rate during playback. Uh, with faster or higher tempo songs being played as your heart rate increase so this is really a nice feature especially when you're working out um, and when your heart rate is, is pumped up you get kind of beating songs which will sort of motivate you to work out more so uh, I haven't tried this feature personally yet but if you guys have tried it and it's working for you you can leave me a comment down below uh, with your feeling for that so now i'm going in the spotify app on the watch itself uh, once you have installed it you'll be able to see this app so once you um now i personally had a lot of issue connecting this app over here so two things i'll suggest you you want to make sure that your phone is connected to the watch and the Wi-Fi is also connected, uh, the watch is also connected with the Wi-Fi, same as your phone. Now I made sure that, and you can still see that it says uh, no active device found, uh, please open Spotify. So uh, let's open the Spotify app. So once I open it up, I'm just hoping that something should come up here, but it is not. So um, let's try to play a song. I'll turn down the volume. So I I, I'm, I just uh, turned off the volume. This song is still playing. Uh, but you can see, uh, oh, there you go. Now it came up. Uh, and it also shows that it's uh, fireproof by Coleman Hell. Um, so now let's see what sort of controls are over here. It's, it's fairly basic. Uh, pause, uh, change the track. Uh, and this is the heart rate feature where if the watch were to be on my wrist it would detect my heart rate and maybe it would shuffle I haven't tried it because I want to do this video where I want to show you the watch clearly let's hit this three dot over here uh, and it comes to player uh, if we hit player it goes back to the player uh, it's it's pretty laggy it's it's not kind of fast at touching let's select choose playlist I can I want to change it but 
but the scroll is not working nope as you can see i'm trying to hit it but it's not working so we'll just hit this and see what happens hmm. seems like it's it's not uh, detecting my touch or something um, let's change the volume and see if we can do that hmm. yeah it, it is working but it's it's not flawless so um, let's let's see if the volume feature works I'll in sorry about this I'll increase the volume and we'll see if it works Yeah, it is working it's just the touch uh, the touch sensitivity is not that great with this app uh, we'll select this right here and then you can see it's kind of too laggy too it's just detecting it kind of pretty late I don't know what's going on but that's why it's, it's not my personally favorite app sometimes uh, it, it doesn't even change the track so I'll, I'll show you uh, what's the issue right there? I'll try to change a track and sometimes it won't detect I'll try to stop or pause the music and sometimes it won't detect too. So Here I'm trying to change the track But it seems like it's it's not working It could be my internet connection or the connection with the phone But before I did this video, I made sure that both of them are connected uh, and it's still not working so let's try pause and play so I'm trying to so yeah I, it, it showed that it, it kind of paused here but I can still hear in the background that the music is running so it didn't really work it just shows that it paused uh, one other trick I found was uh, when I play it from my phone or pause it from my phone I'll get a notification right here you can see uh, and I can actually play so once I open this notification I can play it from here once I hit play then it's gonna start playing that's weird but at least I'm getting notification now initially I didn't get the notification over there but if you wanna uh, you wanna make sure uh, two things now this is in general if you have any notification issue this is what you do you go into your phone in the settings you'll find apps and you will find the Fitbit right here Again, this is Android, so once you go scroll down, you will see notification, which is allowed. Uh, and you click here, and you pretty much want to turn on all of this stuff uh, to avoid any sort of notification issue on your watch. Uh, because if something is turned off, like this payment is turned off or new badge is turned off, you won't get notification for that. So make sure you turn on all the notification right here. Uh, and you also go into your Fitbit app. Um, and you can uh, go in the settings of HR uh, you can go in the permission of HR and you want to turn on all the notification right here so once all the notifications are turned on you will get that notification uh, which I mentioned about I'm gonna show it to you right now so this is the next track I'm gonna pause it as soon as I pause it uh, I'll get a notification that I paused this and then I can play it play like and uh, next track hide this song open so these are the features let's try next track and see what happens yep so it worked um, the next track is is here but it hasn't oh there you go so there is a bit of lag but it is working I would say it's just not let's see if we can go in the notification and change to next track Hmm. seems like it's not working yeah so what I have to do is I'll pause it from here then I should get another notification and then I can uh, try that way so it's it's not the best uh, functional app but if you are a diehard fan of Spotify then you will like this app at least you will like this feature and maybe put it to test and let me know in the comments down below if it worked for you or not uh, but for me uh, this is again my opinion I, 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 I would not personally use this uh, feature I would rather 
put songs on my watch and play it from there or uh, play the music from my phone itself so i really hope you guys like this video uh, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and please leave me a comment down below uh, with your experience about this particular uh, spotify app on your watch uh, and stay tuned i'm gonna do another video pretty soon uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos uh, from our channel thank you so much for watching take care guys i'll see you next time